everybody. This is Ben Miller with a quick video on how to get RSSI on the iPhone. When I say RSSI on the iPhone, what I mean is seeing an RSSI value in units of dBm, decibels relative to one milliwatt, in the upper left-hand corner of your phone. I have a photo of it here in my photos. This is what it looks like. Notice the little negative 68 that you see there. Normally you would be seeing a signal strength in an iPhone. Instead, I am seeing a dBm value. Very, very useful for troubleshooting. Very useful for site surveying. The steps that you have to go through are, first of all, you have to do an iTunes backup. So if I look at iTunes here, notice that I've recently done a backup. If you have not done a backup, you could click Backup Now. Once you click back up now in iTunes, you'll need an application that allows you to edit the internal files that were backed up. The application that I like is iBackupBot. You can see it there on the screen. I have it open here so we can take a look at it. This is what iBackupBot looks like, and I can view all the different files that are in the iPhone. This actually works for any iOS device, so iPads, iPods will work the same way. To get to the correct file, you have to go into System Files. You have to go to Home Domain. You have to go to Library. And then you have to go to Preferences. Now it can get a little bit tricky here because as the operating system changes the location of the file that you need to change to get RSSI on an iPhone might change. So one of the other things you can do is just search directly for the name of the file. The name of the file is com.apple.springboard.plist. So I can go here and search com.apple.springboard.plist. There's com.apple.springboard.plist. So I open up this file. This iBackupBot application is, in fact, an editor. And the important thing is you need an entry in here for SB Show RSSI. So you can see there what the different entries are. There's SB Search First Time Show Count. I want SB Show RSSI. And I need to make sure that is set to true. Need this exact entry, exactly what I highlighted there. Now, on my iPod, I did not have a show SB show RSSI entry at all when I first did the backup. So I had to add this entire thing from scratch. If you already have SB show RSSI, you might have to switch the false to true. Notice there's other little options that you have for viewing the uh, on the home screen as well. Once you finish editing this file, you can save the file by just uh, closing the little plist editor if you've made any changes. And then there's an important thing that you have to do here in iBackupBot. You have to make sure that the preferences... are set to back up to the i or sorry to restore to the iTunes restore engine. So you have to go into the options and make sure that iTunes restore engine is chosen. Once iTunes restore engine is chosen, you can click OK, you can exit out of iBackupBot, and when you head back into iTunes, you can just click Restore Backup. When you restore backup, it will restore your phone with RSSI. iBackupBot is a commercial application. I had to pay $35 US for it, so you might have to pay a little bit of money, but I find it to be well worth it. I have changed the RSSI to numerous iOS devices, and it has really, really been helpful when troubleshooting. Hope you enjoyed this video, and come on back to my blog, SniffWiFi.com, to check out more videos from time to time. This was Ben Miller, signing off.